Good morning. Um, so my name is Jessica Edgerly, and I'm a solar organizer with Sun Common. Um, so I'm going to walk us through, well, I'll introduce Sun Common in our program, and then um, walk us through a little bit more about how solar works here in Vermont. Um, I can also say we are proud members of uh, several of the different alternative time banks that were mentioned a minute ago. So Sun Common launched this past March um, with the mission of dramatically increasing solar in Vermont. Um, we grew out of the Vermont Public Interest Research Group's uh, Solar Communities Program, and as such, we're one of the state's first uh, registered benefit corporations, which means we're driven legally by mission um, and not beholden to the traditional corporate focus uh, for profit. So to make solar available to as many Vermonters as possible, we offer solar for no upfront cost and then a monthly payment that meets or beats the home's electric bill basically switching out the utility bill for a solar bill. And we've got a team, 23 folks in the office and 20 electricians in the field um, who handle everything from design to permitting to installation. Again, making this as simple as possible. So there's our little innovation. So why go solar? Um, well, we think, uh, I think we're all here for the same reason. Um, we're all about switching our economy over from fossil fuels to local, clean sources of energy. Uh, many of us at Sun Common do this work because of the urgency of climate change. No longer are scientists shouting in the wilderness, but every Vermonter is remarking on the differences in winters and in our sugaring seasons. Why else go solar? Well, there are real financial reasons uh, to secure our own energy supply and use the free fuel of sunshine to power our homes. Utility rates have trended at an annual increase of 3 to 5 percent over the last 20 years. Um, and utilities tell us that they don't foresee much change in that, uh, that trend over the next 20. So people often ask me, um, really just solar in Vermont, this isn't Arizona, to which I say, did you know that Germany set a world record earlier this summer, they broke 20 gigawatts of generation in solar production. Um, that's the equivalent of 20 nuclear plants running at full power. As many of us know, Germany is to our north. People often, uh, pardon, so um, let's use solar to move Vermont towards energy independence. Solar won't work as our sole energy source, um, but it can and should be a significant part of our state's power production. Right now, uh, Vermont has about 15 megawatts of solar capacity, producing less than half a percentage of our state's annual electric needs. It's a tiny number, um, but growing. Um, whoops. So to reach 20% of our annual production, we would need one in five homes to go solar, and then 250 solar orchards built across the state. We're here to help make that happen. So from how to, to from vision to how to, um, just a note on net metering. Here in the state, um, we don't need batteries. Um, we can, our utilities can provide us with credit for the solar production of the summer to fuel our homes in the winter, having a dramatic increase in keeping um, dirty power plants off in the summer. Another logistical myth, you don't need a perfect southern exposure to go solar. Um, in fact, most of the homes we've looked at this summer um, have, a great, um, have a great potential to do it. So, um, to make solar common, some common installs, installs solar with no upfront cost, removing that hurdle, and once the system is up and running, the homeowner pays a monthly bill based on what they have been spending on utility power. Um, we've made this happen by basically going out and figuring out financial op uh, financing options that work through our state employees credit union um, here in central Vermont to working with manufacturers of solar panels. So what in government, uh, government incentives do we depend on? What does uh, the federal government give us? Um, much less than fossil fuel, but a little bit, it's important. So uh, federal tax credit, 30%, it's five to $10,000 for most of the systems we've been installing. Then there's a state rebate that comes from the Clean Energy Development Fund. Um, that fund is up and down all the time. <laughs> we know it's gonna be there through the end of December. We'll see what happens in January. Last but not least, Vermont utilities are required to pay their customers 20 cents a kilowatt hour for their solar production. As that same customer uses the power back, they're charged the standard utility rate. Uh, most utilities in Vermont are between 14 and 17 cents a kilowatt hour. 
So the customer is accruing a three to six cent adder for every kilowatt hour of solar that they are producing. So putting it all together, government incentives, our financing options, we can look at an example of how this works um, for folks we're working with. So this is an average family of four. Their Green Mountain power bill is $127 a month, and our design team has uh, gone out to their home and uh, created a design for their roof. So if the family purchases the system through a home equity loan that we've set up through the State Employees Credit Union, um, this is what it looks like. So after um, the state, state federal incentive money comes in, they're looking at $124 a month payments. So they're $3 less a month than they had been spending on GMP power, and they're at a fixed rate, unlike utility rates. To choose this option, though, a um, homeowner needs home equity. Uh, they also need federal tax appetite, meaning that they would need to pay enough in federal taxes to take advantage of the tax credit um, and receive those paid taxes back as a refund. So for a lot of Vermonters, this, that's just not true, and the home equity loan isn't going to work. So um, we also offer a leasing option. Through a lease, the manufacturer of the panels owns the system. That manufacturer has plenty of tax appetite. So the incentives go directly back to the manufacturer and those savings are reflected in the leasing price. So the system leased, same system, would be $127 a month, the same as what they were spending on utility power. So that's, um, there you have it. Uh, we've been out and about quite a bit in uh, central and northern Vermont this summer and are excited to be working with as many folks as are interested in uh, letting us have at the roof or a little bit of land um, in their backyard to help them make the switch over to solar.